Great to see you all this morning. Um, what a wonderful day. What a wonderful day. Uh, you weren't expecting, I weren't expecting us to be outside. There's a reason. We were flooded with the baptistry. And uh, we had a fantastic team of people. And I'm going to just mention them. And I, I, I've not written this down. Uh, so I might forget. So Dan, Hannah and Katie... Uh, Josh, um, Dominic, and Katie Binks, um, Al, Alistair, uh, who else was there helping last night? Steve and Steve, and Sam, and Chris. Who have I missed who were helping? Doug, Doug came. Uh, someone's pointed someone in the middle, I can't see. Yeah, Henrik? Did Henrik didn't come? I don't think. <laughs> but the point is Steve, Steve, Monday. Oh, do you know what? We we had an amazing team of people just helping clear up. It was incredible. And uh, it was like when we call an emergency prayer meeting, we had an emergency team just helping get things ready, uh, set up so that we can have uh, baptisms outside and just to look after the church and protect the uh, building. Uh, so a massive round of applause for all those people. So we weren't expecting to be outside, but we are, and it's going to be lovely. The temperature of the water is slightly colder than uh, we'd hoped. Um, so, uh, yeah, that's not to put anyone off. It's, it's going to be great. Uh, we're going to have lots of fun this morning. We've got a family service, no children going off into groups. There's water there. I think that's already been mentioned. Help yourself to water. There's a children's area at the back where you can just hang out and, uh, play. There seems to be a little children area down here. Uh, just get on with it. We're going to have fun this morning. Uh, we're going to worship God. Let me open with a word of prayer. First of all, though, I'm just going to read a verse from Proverbs chapter 3, well-known verse, verse 5. It says, trust in the Lord with all your heart. Do not depend on your own understanding. Seek him and in all that you do, and he will direct your paths. And, and so we're seeking God this morning. And uh, we're going to have a good time worshiping God and um, seeing people get baptized. And uh, let's just let's just open with a word of prayer before we worship God together. Almighty God, we thank you for your presence. We thank you that you're here amongst us. Uh, we thank you that as we seek you this morning, you will fill us afresh with your spirit. We will know your presence. And so, Lord, we just welcome you by your Holy Spirit this morning. We say thank you for this opportunity to come before the living God and worship you. And so we give you glory. We give you praise this morning. And we thank you for your presence in your name. Amen. Amen. We're going to worship God in song. Sing a couple of songs. And, and then we're going to crack on with some really important things to do this morning. So thank you, Al, and the team. Super. Hopefully this is important too. <laughs> anyway, shall we um, stand if you're willing and able? <laughs> what was that? Hopefully this is important too. Important thing. Yeah, okay. It's all... I know you're uh, willing. If you're willing and able, shall we um, stand and praise God? <laughs> Rocks cry out to worship. His glory taught the stars to be shown. God's creation longs to have the words to sing. But this joy is With a thousand Oh, 
You may be seated. I didn't welcome those that are following on Zoom earlier. Those of you that are following on Zoom, it's great to have you, you with us. And I've noticed that there's a few people that are not regulars here this morning. So it's uh, great to have you with us as well if you're visiting. Um, it's great to have, have you with us. So uh, thank you for joining us this morning. Uh, we have three baptisms, which is great. Uh, Janet, Jessica and Ethan are getting baptised. But also we have uh, Vicky coming into membership. And uh, so I'm going to invite Vicky to actually come forward now. And we're going to um, welcome her 
into membership. Uh, there's a few promises uh, that, that uh, Vicky uh, will make. And uh, I know there's a few people out there who you're expecting a conversation with me about membership. That will happen. Um, and, um, and, and so I look forward to welcoming more of you into membership. Um, membership is something uh, that we, we do just to um, uh, engage with people and people come into the life of the church and, and just make that commitment to uh, be involved more fully in, in the life of the church. And uh, you can uh, do things like vote. Uh, you have to give away lots of money. Uh, <laughs> no, you don't. No, you don't. Um, um, and so membership is a great thing. And uh, let me just uh, uh, explain uh, about, uh, about uh, membership. So in the name of uh, the Lord Jesus Christ, the only head of the church, and in accordance with the decision uh, of this local church meeting, we now invite Vicky into uh, membership by reaffirmation of faith. By baptism, Vicky has been received into membership of the one holy Catholic and apostolic church. She has affirmed her baptism, confessed her faith in Jesus Christ as her saviour and Lord and accepted the privileges and responsible responsibilities of membership of the Church of Christ. And as she comes to unite with us in this congregation, we invite her to reaffirm her confession of faith and promise to live as a faithful member of this fellowship. So we have a couple of promises for you, Vicky. Vicky, do you com confess anew your faith and trust in one God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, maker of heaven and earth, giver of life, redeemer of this world? And do you promise to continue in the worship and fellowship of the church in this congregation, accepting the gift and cost of following Christ and proclaiming by word and action the good news of God in Christ? And now uh, a promise to us as, as the congregation. And some of you are not members of this congregation. So um, you don't need to make this commitment. But I encourage you, if you are a member of this congregation, regular, uh, please uh, respond after this statement by saying we do or we will. In welcoming Vicky as a fellow member in, in the life of this church, do you promise your friendship in the Lord and will you give her your support in prayer and service so that she, with us, may continue to grow in the knowledge and love of God and witness to Jesus Christ, our risen Lord? I'm going to invite uh, Ian to come forward. Uh, we're going to pray for, for Vicky and hand over a certificate. Let's pray for, for Vicky. Almighty God and Heavenly Father, we thank you for Vicky. We thank you for bringing her to us. And Lord, we just pray a special blessing on her this morning as she comes into membership. Lord, we pray that you fill her afresh with your Holy Spirit. We pray that you'll anoint her and bless her for all the work and service that you have for her. And Lord, as for us as a congregation, may we encourage, may we bless, and may we support Vicky in a role as part of this church body. In your name, amen. Amen. Welcome, Vicky. Welcome. Let's give a round of applause. Vicky. So now we've come to the part where we do the baptisms. And in a moment, I'm going to invite 
Jana and Ethan and Jessica uh, to come forward uh, to be baptized. In John's gospel, we read that Jesus said to Nicodemus, no one can enter the kingdom of God without being born of water and spirit. God loves us even before we come to love God ourselves. Though we cannot understand such love, God invites us in baptism to accept, but accept it with the openness and trust of a child. In the waters of baptism, God sets us as a seal upon his heart, for his love in Christ is stronger than death. Christ's journey from death to resurrection is the pattern of our lives in union with him. Jesus himself was baptized by John in the Jordan. His baptism found fulfillment in the cross where he gave himself for the life of the world. Jesus said, all authority in heaven and on earth has been given to me. Go therefore and make disciples of all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father and in the Son and of the Holy Spirit, and teaching them to obey everything that I have commanded you. So now I invite the three, Jana, Ethan, and Jessica, to come forward. Just stand with me for a moment. Just uh, wonder if we can have a brief chat of why uh, you're getting uh, baptised. Who wants to go first? I know, excuse me. I know you've got a great story, Jana, of how you came to this church. Thank you. Um, and it'd be great just to hear. We're going to sing a song, probably while you're getting dry. Uh, hopefully you'll be back out to, uh, to hear it, but... Uh, we're going to sing a song uh, called Coming to the Altar, is that right? And just briefly, what, what, what does that mean to you? Um, it was the first song I listened to before I came to church, and that's what pushed me to be Christian. So Janet listened to this song, Coming to the Altar, and uh, it encouraged her to come to church. And so she thankfully came to, to this church, and... Um, You've just got stuck in and given your life to Jesus, and it's it's amazing. Uh, from a song, uh, just watched on on YouTube, and she contacted us and said, I'm, "I want to come to the altar. I want to come to church. I want to encounter God." Um, and just through listening to music, and uh, so she came. Literally within a few weeks. Uh, made that commitment, and he's now here to get baptized. Um, anything else you want to say, or is that no? No, you're all right. That's <laughs> do you know what? It's incredible story. I love that story, and hopefully you will be back out um, uh, to to um, uh, listen to your song again. What about you guys? You want to say anything of why why you're here getting baptized? <laughs> Verse. You have a verse? Yeah, well, well, two verses. Um, so it's Psalm 43, verses 3 to 4, and it says, um, Send me your light and your faithful care. Let them lead me. Let them bring me to your holy mountain, to the place where you dwell. Then I will go to the altar of God, to God, my God, and my delight. I will praise you with the lyre, O God, my God. Wow. Um, how... how are these verses that have led you to baptism? Um, no, I just they just came to my head um, the other day. So. Wow, wow, okay. Well, I know Ethan and Jess have been part of our youth for years and coming on on a Friday to our house, and I know that these these guys really 
are doing this because they really want to and they want to commit their lives to God and make that public. Jess, anything to say? Well, um, I know that God is my joy. He's what gives me my joy. And um, he's shown his love um, in my life so much and I wanted to share it with others. <laughs> wow. This is amazing, isn't it? This is amazing. We've got another baptism service as well in October. So maybe some of you uh, will be uh, getting baptised then. This is great. I'm so proud of you guys. And it's so good, especially seeing you two on Fridays. And I know, uh, uh, Jana, what's happened for you. I love this story of, of this song. And just hearing how passionate you are and wanting to get involved and make your... Um, faith public it's it's a great thing we're going to go in the water in a minute um but you guys have a few promises as well so um we're going to go through those promises and then we're going to get in the water um and uh and get you baptized so janet jessica and ethan do you believe and trust in one god Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, maker of heaven and earth, giver of life, redeemer of the world. Do you repent of your sins, turn away from evil, and turn to Christ? And do you confess Jesus Christ as your Lord and Saviour? And again, we make a promise as a church congregation. So please respond by we do. As a community of faith, representing the whole church, do you welcome Janet, Jessica and Ethan and promise to share with them what you yourselves have received, the gift of God's love revealed in Christ? We do. Let's pray for you guys, uh, and then we're going to uh, get in the water. Lucy, do you want to come forward now as well? We're going to pray for these guys and uh, and then get you done. What, what order are we going in? Uh, you're first, aren't you, Ethan? Second, third. Okay. Almighty God, we thank you so much for Janet, for Ethan, and for Jessica. And Lord, as they make that decision now to publicly proclaim you as their Lord and Savior, Lord, we pray that you will bless them, that you will fill them afresh with your Holy Spirit. Lord, we thank you for them. We're proud of them as a church. And Lord, we want to honor them and we want to just encourage them this, this morning, this day. Lord, I believe you have big things for each one of them. May they know your spirit throughout all their days. May they do great and marvelous things for you, I pray. Lord, may they see your glory in their lives. May many people that they come into contact with know you uh, through the way that, that Janet, that Jess and uh, Ethan live their lives. May, may they be radiant examples of your goodness and glory. May they see you move in power in and through their lives. We pray this in your mighty name. Amen. Amen. Okay, let's go. <laughs> Gather round anyone who wants a better view. You might get splashed if you come too close. Right. Um, 
It's a great privilege for me to baptise you in the name of the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. Jonah, what a privilege just to baptize you in the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. <laughs> what a great blessing and privilege, yes, to baptize you in the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. <laughs> Well done, guys. You can get changed. Actually, before we uh, worship and before I get dry, um, we're going to do the notices. Uh, it'll give uh, the guys longer and a, a chance to listen to their song that they've chosen. Um, so I, I, I know Ian. Ian's going to come and say something. Uh, Jenny's going to come and say something. And then I might, Al, I might need you to do the other bits while I get dry. Um, there we go. So, Ian, do you want to come forward first? Right, see you in a bit. <laughs> Uh, before I do the formal bit, give the notes as I've got to give, I just want to say a really big thank you to um, everybody who helped in the, the flood crisis yesterday. Uh, thank you for that. And especially as well to Al, who's been working so hard all weekend. We had the party in the park service and he had to rush down here to sort of organise what was going on. So let's give them all the, everybody a big round of applause for, for that. Thank you, everybody. Uh, I need to give you notice of, of two church meetings. This is for church members. So you've already had notice, if you get the news uh, sheet regularly, on the 26th of June, that's um, uh, in two weeks tomorrow, the 20, Monday the 26th of June, it's our annual general meeting. So I encourage all members to uh, come along to that when we remind ourselves of all the good work uh, that the Lord has done here in this past year. Um, but also um, there's gonna be another church meeting 
the Monday before. So that's Monday week, the 19th of June. And the reason for this is that for several months, the uh, elders have been praying and discussing about the possibility of creating a new role in the church. And to create that role, uh, we wish to apply for a grant from the uh, uh, URC, uh, United Reformed Church Eastern Synod. Um, but before we do that, the church, you as members, this is part of what membership's about, uh, need to agree that and approve that. So um, later this week, uh, we've got elders tomorrow, hopefully later this week, we'll get more details out to you about that that pro proposal. It, it's, it's in connection with mission and discipleship. Um, so very exciting, you know, goes with all that's been happening in the church uh, in the last few years. Um, so that's Monday the 19th of June, uh, uh, in the church or the hall, not sure yet, which is probably the hall in current circumstances. Um, but put that in your diary, watch out for more information this week so that you can come along, hear about that proposal, discuss it. And then we, what will probably happen is there won't be a vote that night, give you time to go away, think about it, pray about it, and then we'll vote on it at the AGM to approve that. And there'll be a few membership approvals as well on the 19th. Thank you. Super. So I'm just going to run through a few of the notices uh, of everything else that's happening. Um, I'm doing this with Joel's phone, so thank you, Joel, just as a reminder what I'm supposed to be saying. So uh, next Saturday, we have our men's breakfast. That's Saturday the 17th at the Dog and the Duck Pub here in Linton at half nine for breakfast. Uh, and we're delighted to be joined by Chief Inspector Paul Rogerson, um, who's a police head of police here in Cambridge. Um, so we're going to have a lovely breakfast, full English for those that want it, and then he will share... Uh, some of his life story and how his faith impacts uh, his work in the police force. Um, then on the 18th of June, we're going to have a garden and slide party. That's at Jean and Richard's house. And um, if you don't know where that is, come and speak to myself or Chris or somebody else after the service. Basically, there will be barbecues there so you can bring your food to, to cook. Um, we'll have a picnic and then we'll get a big tarpaulin out where the children, mainly children, will go sliding down. It's a bit like a game of Skittles. You need to make sure you don't get hit on the way. Um, but it's great fun, so do come along if you can. Then on the 25th of June, uh, during our morning service, we're having our summer lighthouse, uh, which is an opportunity for our uh, primary age school children to invite their friends along to um, a session in the hall. Lots of crafts, songs, games and activities. And it really is an opportunity for us to outreach into the local community. We want to try and get as many people to that as come to come. So please invite your friends. I think that's it. Jenny, do I come and do a notice? I'll leave that over to you. Well, good morning. I'm um, sure you've heard that there's been mooted the possibility of a daytime alpha. Well, it's definitely going to happen. It's going to start tomorrow week, the 19th of June. I have invitation cards with me this morning. If you've got anybody in mind that you'd like to invite, it's going to be at 10.30 in the church hall or the green room. Um, and we're just looking forward to a great time. So if you need one of these cards, just see me afterwards. Thank you. Speaker, thank you, Jenny. Shall we stand? If you're willing and able, we're going to sing two songs. Uh, the first one is the song um, that Janet mentioned in her testimony. So this is new to the church, I think. You might have heard it um, on CDs, possibly. Um, but yeah, we're going to start with, oh, come to the altar. And then we're going to sing, I speak Jesus, which is the song that Jess chose for us this morning. Are you hurting and broken inside? Overwhelmed by the weight of your sin, Jesus is calling. Have you come to the end of yourself? Do you thirst for a drink from the well that Jesus is calling? Oh, come to the altar, the Father's arms are open wide. Forgiveness was born with the precious blood of Jesus Christ. Verse one again. Oh, 
Your name is 
Be seated. What a special morning. Um, I just want to say to the children, well done, you're doing a great job. Just bear with us for a few more moments. We're, we're going to, Mary's going to lead us in a time of prayer. Angie's going to come and do a reading. And then I'm going to do a very short message this morning um, uh, before we conclude uh, the service this morning. So thank you, Mary. This is such a special day and we're going to come before God because he's spoken to those being baptized and he's speaking, I believe, to every single one of us. So as we pray, let's know God is speaking to you as an individual. Let's pray. Lord, you're here in our midst. You're bringing your glory by the presence of your Holy Spirit. And as we come and as we've worshipped, we know it's simply because of Jesus. You are holy and yet you're our greatest friend. Your cross and your resurrection tell of your love for all of us. And you have invited us all here today. Every one of us is chosen and called and special to you. And on this special day of baptism, we acknowledge that you've called Ethan and Janet and Jessica. By your grace, they've responded to your invitation. And together we pray again that today may continue to be 
such a special time for each of them. May they know your presence in their lives so deeply and may their days ahead be filled with laughter and love and joy as they experience life in the center of your blessing. We pray too for Vicky as she has renewed her promises and walks deeper into your love. And we trust you, Lord, that at this moment, you're calling others to you. And we ask that you will help anyone here today who wants to respond in a way that's unique to them, to know that they are a precious child of God, saved by the cross of Jesus Christ. But as we come in worship, we have remember a world a world that Jesus loves but is broken in so many ways. And thinking of the flood yesterday, and thank you, Lord, for protecting us and protecting our building. But we're reminded of the floods in Ukraine where people are suffering badly, and we ask for your intervention. We thank you for every relief effort where people risk everything to save lives. And the war-torn parts of the world that have fallen off the news, you don't forget, Lord. And we trust you for the future. Mm. And on this lovely hot day, we thank you so much for fun and relaxation, but we remember that our climate is changing. Help us never to be complacent about this fact. And then for our church family, Anybody in your heart today who's unwell or struggling, Lord, you know them, but we, their friends or their family, we lift their names up to you and know that you have the power, you have the authority here on earth to heal, to save, to love, and to bring your peace. And so help each one of us to recommit ourselves today to you. Use us in any way you want, and may we each see your power at work in our lives day by day. And we ask these prayers in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. And I'm going to read six verses from Psalm 139 verses one to six. You have searched me, Lord, and you know me. You know when I sit and when I rise. You perceive my thoughts from afar. You discern my going out and my lying down. You are familiar with all my ways. Before a word is on my tongue, Lord, you know it completely. You hem me in behind and before and you lay your hand upon me. Such knowledge is too wonderful for me, too lofty for me to attain. Amen. Thank you, Mary and Ange. Be honest, you thought I was gonna come out a bit smarter than this, didn't you? Actually, some of you are shaking your head now. Yeah, you know. Right. Um, let me just pray, and I'm gonna I'm gonna uh, share uh, briefly on this text that Andrew's read. Almighty God, we thank you for today. We thank you for your word, and Lord, as we look into your word now, Lord, I pray that you'll anoint my words and that you'll uh, speak to us through your Spirit. We thank you for the living word. So we commit ourselves afresh right now to you. Speak to us, I pray, in your name, Lord. Amen. Now, this is not the most well-known text for a baptism service, but as I was praying for, for Jana and for Jessica and Ethan this week, I really felt that this, this was the message that God uh, laid on my heart. And he gave me a title for the message. Uh, you can't shock God. Uh, I was shocked last night when I came into church, but um, uh, you can't shock God. Um, 
God knows everything about us. It's an incredible thought that actually God knows everything about us. What a thought that is. Just let that sit with you. God knows everything about us. For me, I've got mixed thoughts on that, mixed feelings. Jesus knows everything. Jesus knows all the bad stuff. When we sit, when we stand, all our thoughts. God knows all our thoughts. Everything we do. Even the things before we do it. The th before we think. God, God knows. I don't know about you, but I'm a little bit embarrassed by this truth. I'm a little bit embarrassed. But despite all of that, despite God knowing everything about us, in verse 5 uh, the, uh, uh, of, of the six verses that Andrew read, it says in, in the New Living Translation that God places his hand of blessing on our head. Despite knowing everything, God places his hand of blessing on our head. How awesome is that? Despite knowing everything, only us each individually know how much we mess up. And I'm talking about I'm talking about the worst things that we've ever done, ever thought or said. I'm talking about the things we don't advertise, the things we even hide from those that are closest to us. At church recently, we've been looking at, at Saul and his conversion. And probably the most famous conversion in the history of of uh of, uh, of the church. Saul was a monster of a person. He was a monster of a person. He went around murdering Christians. But then he, he met Jesus. He had this encounter with Jesus. And it transformed his life so much that he changed his name to Paul. And he was recorded of uh, uh, saying, saying this in the Bible in 1 Timothy 1.15. This is tr a trustworthy saying, and everyone should accept it. Christ Jesus came in the world to save sinners, and I am the worst of them all. And the truth about baptism is that when we go down into the water, when we go down in, into the water, all that wrong in our lives, all the all the garbage all the wrong stuff all the bad thoughts all the negative stuff have been washed away have been washed away and when we come out we're entering into this new life where we can live in freedom from all those mistakes including the ones that we will do again don't mean that janet jessica and ethan are not going to make any more mistakes they will but they live in the freedom that God has forgiven them and cleansed them. This is an incredible truth. And it's true for each one of us, whatever our past looks like, whatever our past looks like, whatever we've done. Those of you that know me well, um, or very well, know that my office is, is not the tidiest place. I've got a few family members smiling at me. It's not the tidiest place uh, to work in. I, I find it difficult keeping on top of my office space. But there is a part of my office that's really clean and really well looked after. <laughs> I'm getting even stranger looks from family members. Uh, really? There is a part of my study that is spotless, that I check on it regularly. And I make sure that it's clean. And that is a part of my, the office that you can see on Zoom. <laughs> so, so you have the computer, and there's a part of my office that everyone can see on Zoom that is spotless. And I regularly clean it. If you, if you looked around, you see that it, that's not a reality. It's not a truth. This is what we do with God sometimes. 
This is what we do. We try and hide the things that we don't want him to see. We hide the things thinking that he doesn't really know. We convince ourselves that God doesn't know. I convince all those people on Zoom, all those other church leaders that I have meetings with that my, my life sorted out and that my, my uh, office is spotless. Psalm 139 is an incredible psalm, the whole psalm. I encourage you to read it at home. But let me just read as I come towards a close the, the next six verses. It says, I can never escape from your spirit. I can never get away from your presence. If I go up to heaven, you are there. If I go down to the grave, you are there. If I ride on the wings of, of, of the if I, if I ride the wings of the morning, if I dwell by the farthest oceans, even there, your hand will guide me and your strength will support me. I could ask the darkness to hide me and the light around me to become night. But even in darkness, I cannot hide from you. To you, the night shines as bright as day. Darkness and light are the same to you. You can't shock God. You can't shock God. Maybe, maybe a better title. You can't hide from God. You can't hide from God. You know, the reason why I wanted to say, you know, use this title, you can't shock God, is because when, when you get shocked, when you tell someone something about yourself and, and, and they act, they respond like, oh, I didn't expect that of you. Oh, there's a there's a shock there. I didn't. There's a kind of judgment. There's none of that with God. He doesn't. He, 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 the, our past, our mistakes, it doesn't put him off. You can't shut God. Now I don't know everyone's situation this morning. I don't know if you're a full-on Christian follower of Jesus. I don't know if you're on the fringe. I don't know if you're not. I don't know everyone's situation, but God is there. God is there for you, and he wants you to put your trust in him. Our reading goes on. You saw me before I was born. Every day of my life is recorded in your book. Every moment was laid out before a single day had passed. How precious are your thoughts about me, even though he knows everything. He's, uh, how precious are his thoughts for us. He loves us. Um, his thoughts about us, uh, they can't be numbered. Can't even count them. They are, are outnumbered, the grains of sand. You know, God is interested in you. God loves you. He loves you. He loves you. The question is, are you interested in him? That's what I want to put to you this morning. Janet, Jessica and Ethan have decided to publicly say and announce that they are interested, that they want to follow the life um, living for Jesus. Where are you this morning? Where are you this morning? Let's pray together as I close. Almighty God, I want to thank you for your love for each one of us. I want to thank you that you love us whatever, whatever our past looks like. Lord, I thank you that we can't shock you by our mistakes, by, our, by the times we've messed up. I thank you that even with everything, you still love us. And Lord, I, we want to respond to that this morning. We want to respond to that. We want to say thank you, Lord. We want to say thank you for your amazing love. We thank you for Janet, for Ethan, and for Jess as they've decided to follow you and live for you. And, and Lord, we pray for each one of us here. Lord, I pray that we will know, we will respond this morning in our own way, that we will say thank you for your love for us, that we will put our trust in you. We will look to you, whatever our situation this morning. So I pray you bless 
each and every person here this morning. In your name I pray. Amen. I want to say that if you're thinking, well, I, do you know what? I want to know more about this God. I want to know more about putting my trust in God. Um, I want to move that forward. If you're here and you're thinking that this morning, please come and speak to me at the end and we can pray together. I can, I can uh, talk to you um, and encourage you um, if, if, if that's you this morning. Okay, I'm going to invite the worship team, Al, to come forward. We've got a final song to sing this morning. What's the final song? <laughs> yeah, we don't know. This is Amazing Grace. We're going to sing This is Amazing Grace. Please stand if you can as we close our service with a final song. Mm -hmm. Who breaks the power of sin and darkness? Whose love is mighty and so much stronger? The King of glory, the King of all kings. Who shakes the whole earth with holy thunder and leaves us breathless in awe and wonder? The King of glory. The King of all This is amazing grace. This is amazing love. That you would take my place. That you would bear. i 
I need to say that um, Linda Pearson has made a wonderful cake, a really wonderful baptism cake for uh, Jana, for uh, Jess and for Ethan. So you need to go and see that before um, that gets eaten. It's, it's an amazing cake. We, we need to get a photo of you three actually with this cake. Um, uh, so that's going to be, there's going to be cake and tea and coffee in the hall. Uh, Please feel free to come in, mingle here. Uh, um, let me close with a final prayer. Almighty God, we thank you for this morning. And we pray a special blessing on each and every one of us, especially for, for um, Janet, Jessica and Ethan this morning, and Vicky too. Lord, we thank you for them. And we pray your blessing upon them and each one of us. Lord, we thank you that as we go from here, the living God, creator God, lives in us. And so we just commit ourselves afresh and we thank you uh, that you can use us this week for your glory. In your name I pray. Amen. Bless you guys. Thank you, everyone. See you soon.